So let us solve one more important problem on definite integrals. So this problem may appear in different board examinations. It may be intermediate for AP in Telangana or all board examinations of India and diploma examination. So now let us solve this problem. So what ki kind of strategy has to be followed for this problem? So here very simple formula we have to use that is integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So that means so in the place of x x replace pi minus x then you get other integral that is i if you add both so you will be getting the i value. So after some prior integration indefinite integration has to be applied after that we have to apply the limits so that we get the answer. So let us solve it now. Solution first let us say i equals to integral 0 to pi x sin cube x upon 1 plus cos square x dx. So now applying the rule integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. It is one of the important properties we have studied on definite integrals. So now again we write i better say equation 1 for our convenience i equals to integral 0 to pi x is being replaced by pi minus x and sin cube of pi minus x by 1 plus cos square of pi minus x dx. Here the trigonometric formulae are to be applied. So you should be very careful while applying the trigonometric formulae. <coughs> Here sin pi minus x means sin 180 minus x that is plus sin x. But whereas cos pi minus x is minus cos x but we have the square we get the positive value only. So that we have to keep in mind. So while simplifying this step particularly. So now let us write now this equals to integral 0 to pi pi minus x I already told you sin of pi minus x is sin x whole cube sin cube x only we get it sin cube x upon 1 plus but actually here the minus cos x whole square we get positive cos square x only plus cos square x dx. So now let it be split as the difference of two integrals now. So that means this we can write pi sin cube x pi common integral 0 to pi we have sin cube x by 1 plus cos square x dx and minus integral 0 to pi x sin cube x by 1 plus cos square x dx. So I request to the all the viewers one submission better you concentrate this step this step is very very important that plays vital rule while simplifying you have to take more so care here so that means so now again this is being replaced by i from equation 1 observe yes from 1 this is nothing but i so here from 1 from 1 So this can be written now i equals to pi times 0 to pi sin cube x upon 
1 plus cos square x dx minus i bring minus i this side so we get i plus i equals to pi times integral 0 to pi sin cube x by 1 plus cos square x dx. Now i plus i is 2i equals to pi times integral 0 to pi sin cube x by 1 plus cos square x dx. So now we get i equals to its required value pi by 2 are you observing or following yes integral 0 to pi sin cube x by 1 plus cos square x dx it has to be evaluated it's very simple so if you just select the appropriate substitution method so this can be solved very easy easy manner so now let us solve it so now let us say cos x is equal to t if you differentiate with respect to on both sides you get dt by dx is equal to minus sin x. So, dt is equal to minus sin x dx. So, now the limits also will change in accordance with the substitution. So, that is the criteria while solving the problems in definite integrals. So, now lower limit x 0 t is equal to cos 0 which is equal to 1. Upper limit x is equal to pi t equals to cos pi cos 180 is minus 1. So, very careful here. So, now this can be rewritten as like this for our convenience you need not get any confusion minus pi by 2 integral sin square x by 1 plus cos square x into minus sin x dx I will write it. Any change just observe minus into minus you get plus only sin square x into sin x sin cube x only. So, let us replace the value again the sin square x is we can write 1 minus cos square x the next step follows here limits are 0 to pi <coughs> now this equal to minus pi by 2 integral 0 to pi 1 minus cos square x by 1 plus cos square x minus sin x dx. So, let us replace the values cos x is replaced by t and minus sin x dx is replaced by dt and lower limit is replaced by 1, upper limit is replaced by minus 1. So, we get minus pi by 2 integral lower limit is 1, upper limit minus 1, 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. Okay and this is replaced by dt. 
multiply 1 minus t square with this minus sign you get pi by 2 integral 1 2 minus 1 t square minus 1 by t square plus 1 dt. Now we have to divide t square minus 1 by t square plus 1 or else here the numerator can be written as t square plus 1 something. So, t square minus 1 is equivalent to 2 here see t square minus 1 can be written as t square plus 1 minus 2 can I write like this yes why not. So, now this is replaced by this one pi by 2 integral 1 2 minus 1 t square plus 1 minus 2 by t square plus 1 dt. Now, we can split this one as difference of two integrals. pi by 2 times integral 1 2 minus 1 t square plus 1 by t square plus 1 dt minus ok 2 common integral 1 2 minus 1 1 by t square plus 1 dt this t square plus 1 t square plus 1 cancel 1 we have. So, pi by 2 times integral 1 2 minus 1 dt minus 2 times integral 1 2 minus 1 1 by 1 plus t square dt. Okay. Now, pi by 2 integral of dt is t limits 1 minus 1 minus 2 times this is tan inverse t. So, very important step this is am I correct. Now, let us apply the respective limits pi by 2 here minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 times tan inverse 1 tan inverse 1 sorry tan inverse minus 1 and minus tan inverse 1. So, now this can be written pi by 2 times minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 times tan minus minus 1 is minus pi by 4 this is minus pi by 4 minus pi by 4 minus pi by 4 is minus pi by 2. So, pi by 2 into minus 2 minus 2 times minus pi by 2, 2 1 ja 2 cancel. We have pi by 2 into minus 2 minus into minus plus pi. So, this equals to pi by 2 into pi minus 2. Therefore, i equals to pi by 2 times pi minus 2 this is the answer.